The first step in the narcissistic abuse cycle is called idealization, otherwise known as love bombing. So if you felt like the narcissist that you were entangled with really loved you, understand that this was their intention. However, it is important that you understand that this is a part of their grand manipulation. It is very important to understand that if you are dealing with a pathological narcissist, narcissists do not get into relationships with people, they get into abuse cycles. People are tools to a narcissist that serve a distinct purpose. And when we're talking about idealization or love bombing, the narcissist will try to overwhelm you with compliments, which essentially is flattery. And flattery is false praise. They may give you a lot of gifts. Uh, you may spend a lot of time on the phone. They may take you on trips, etc. And all of this is to get you to drop your guard and let them in. And once you've let them in, by now you'll know that then comes the devalue. This is where the verbal abuse, physical abuse, etc. will come in. And they'll also eventually discard you for another victim when you run low on supply. And eventually most of them are going to try to hoover you back into this abusive cycle. All of this essentially is because narcissists are addicts. They are energy vampires. They are people addicts. So they are chasing a high with each new person that they meet. And when it comes to pathological narcissists, understand that all narcissists are people addicts. This is why their beds can never be cold. They are always looking for new supply. While all narcissists are people addicts, they may have other addictions because where you see one addiction, you most likely are going to see others. So you may also be dealing with the narcissists that are addicted to alcohol, you know, other drugs, cocaine, meth, etc. They may also be porn addicts. You may even find them uh, soliciting prostitutes. And another addiction that you don't hear about too often is hoarding. So when people hoard things, it's very similar to when they're hoarding people again. The main thing is they're always trying to fill that gaping hole that they have inside of their soul. You really are dealing with a black hole and this is very dangerous because there is no end to the amount of consumption that a narcissist needs. This is why they are prone to serial cheating. It doesn't matter how many you know people they try to sleep with, it's not going to satiate their appetite. It is very important when you're dealing with this personality type to forgive yourself. None of their behavior really has anything to do with you, even though it does affect you. And remember that forgiveness has nothing to do with the other party. Forgiveness has everything to do with you because forgiveness is essentially letting go of negative emotions. This is because the higher you go, the better you feel. So when you forgive yourself, you let go of the shame. You let go of the guilt, you let go of the anger, you let go of the revenge. And this is how you get the courage to walk away and stay away from these toxic personality types. You are dealing with people that are rooted in shame and they are unable to move past their pride. So the only relationship that you can have with one of these personality types is a victim abuser type relationship. The relationship is going to be toxic and dysfunctional because you're not going to be able to build. You're not going to be able to grow because pathological narcissists actually believe that you are their opponent. Their behavior is irrational because it is below the level of rational thinking. You are dealing with people with very severe arrested development. And we are talking about arrested development on the spiritual, emotional, and psychological plane. You are dealing with people that like to screw other people over. None of their behavior has anything to do with you. As always, if you appreciate the content, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and save the videos. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please go ahead and leave that in the comment section and I'll catch you in the next video.